am I using God's name in vain? Point number one. Do I offer prayers with flowery words to win the approval of men around me? Do I pray to create an impression in front of others? If the answer is yes, I am taking God's name in vain. Number two. Do I raise my hands, cry out loud to God and pray in a charismatic church, yet find it difficult to do the same in a traditional church? Am I worried about not being approved by people around me? If the answer is yes, I am a hypocrite, and yes, I am taking God's name in vain. Point three. Do I say God spoke to me, even when I know that God did not speak to me? Do I say this because everyone in my church say the same thing? If the answer is yes, I am taking God's name in vain. Point number four. Do I add scripture verses in my status message just to create an impression among believers? Do I use God's word to make myself look holy? If the answer is yes, I am taking God's name in vain. Point five. Do I say, praise the Lord, when I greet some fellow believer, but still have hatred, jealousy, anger against that believer? If the answer is yes, I am taking God's name in vain. Point six. I don't have a personal relationship with my God, but I run to Him only when I am in some need. Once my troubles are sorted, I get back to square one. If the above statement is true, I am taking God's name in vain. Point seven. I speak very holy words inside the church. I also think that I speak in tongues. At the same time, once I step out of the church, I slander, use foul words, and gossip about my brethren. If the above statement is true, I am taking God's name in vain. Point 8. Do I send scripture verses as text messages to members of the opposite sex to make them fall for me? If the answer is yes, I am taking God's name in vain. Point 9. Do I blindly quote Bible verses out of context? I quote these verses because my pastor said so, and I know that my pastor is right. Hence, I need not cross-check the Bible. If the answer is yes, then I am taking God's name in vain. Point 10. I use the word Jesus Christ as a swear word. If the answer is yes, then I am taking God's name in vain. Am I taking God's name in vain? It is for you and me to think and retrospect on this issue.